welcome back to my channel. And um, today we're going to be talking everything admire me, business, how to make money, everything that people want to know from behind the scenes, how we made the business, blah blah blah. So um, yeah, we've got some questions that people have sent from Instagram, and this is my business partner slash cousin slash lifesaver slash everything, Becky. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> So um, yeah, so we, we gonna. She knows more about the behind the scenes and stuff because she runs a company, and obviously I'm like the nothing. <laughs> no, I'm like the um, naughty one. The face, the the social media, the everything like that. So Becky's the real boss, and I'm like the pretendy boss. So yeah, we're just getting into the questions and stuff. So what's the best way to maximise your earnings? Obviously, social media is the most important part. Um, you need to be relevant, you need to be tweeting, you need to be socialising with people, you need to be getting yourself in groups or shout-outs, or, uh, especially when you're just starting out and you don't really know anyone. Make friends in the industry, girls with... Not, like, get people more followers to help you, because it's a bit, like, shady, like, go on, will you shout me out because you've got those followers? But, like, just generally, like, being active, being online, always, like tweeting five six times a day different pictures make yourself interesting make sure you make yourself a personality in between your tweets so not just always about the sex work always with your link always try and make people want to know you as a person because that's the whole point of it really but yeah what, yeah from the site's point of view i would say upload regularly if people have paid a monthly fee then they want to see content regularly, daily, a few times a day, a couple of times a day. Interact with your followers. If they message you, message them back. Yeah. If they comment on your pictures, reply to it. Get a rapport going and then hopefully they'll subscribe the next month because they're actually interested in you and your life. Yeah, you've got to keep them interested, keep it different, different underwear, different locations, different stuff. Like just stop, like don't, just don't make a boring basically. Be good value for money. Be good value for money, yeah. And tell the truth in your bio. Make your bio interesting, that's what's going to make people subscribe, your bio and your profile picture. Explain exactly what they're going to get in your account on your bio, what sets you apart from the rest, but be totally honest about it. Don't blag people, don't like make false promises, don't say you're going to do something if you won't. What makes it Miami different to the competition? I think what you've done is amazing, so very well done. First of all, thank you. Yes, it is amazing. <laughs> thank <me>. you. <laughs> it's all there, really. Um, it's four. Yeah, yeah, so, um, what was the question again? <laughs> what makes it stand out? Oh, watch it from So, the difference for ours is um, it's made by a sex worker for sex workers. So, I've been in the industry 10 years. I've, like, I know, well, like, the industry of, like, just sex work in general, obviously, stripping and online and stuff like that. I've been on active on social media and like popular on social media since like 2012 so yeah I just kind of like built up a rapport stuff like that and it, it made me like popular in this sex world I guess I think it's quite important the fact that we are a team of women there's 10 of us who work on Admire Me every one of us is a woman and everyone actually cares when I've answered messages in the middle of the night early hours of the morning where people have had stuff going on that they need resolving and we'll do everything we can to help them we'll go above and beyond um, so far I don't know any other platform that has tracked the models like that that's on there mm -hmm. so that's our big standout feature other, other sites that you would send an email with a problem you'll get a reply back weeks later we always pay on time we've never ever not paid on the day that you're supposed to get paid um, we've got a lower payout than other um, sites. Lower minimum payout. Lower minimum payout, sorry. Um, yeah, so ours is £20 minimum, whereas other sites have been known to put up to $300 before you can get your own money out, which is ridiculous. Um, they don't pay you. They have exchange rates. Ours is all in pounds, so you get every single penny that you owed. Um, what else? We also listen. So we take ideas on board, and yeah. we know that the models on the site are the ones that they message us and say, some it might work a bit better another way. We'll we'll do we'll it. Go, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll give, give it a go. go. And we'll so see what's we best. invest in the company every single month, every single week. Our site's worked on to implement new things and different things and little tweaks, big tweaks, anything that's going to make it a more usable site for our customers, models, and um, subscribers. Also, we do competitions. So we've done six now, haven't we? Mm, yeah. Yeah, six competitions. We give away five holidays to like amazing locations. I'll try and remember them all. New York, Vegas, Mexico, LA, Thailand. Yep. And then £3,000. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> three thousand pound at Christmas just to the girls who are working hard, like you know, well, it's girls and boys, but we just girls have all won so far. But yeah, boys are well yeah. There is, there is boys on our site as well, but they just uh, our site is more girls to be honest. But we need the gays. <laughs> Bring the gays. <laughs> what research did you do to know that you would get enough custom fit and Miami to succeed? We didn't. I was taking a big risk and forty five grand of my own money, <laughs> not alone, not not. I've got no rich mum and dad. We just thought, fuck it, I, I was willing to lose it by giving it a go. Because um, if you don't take risks, then you don't ever get anywhere, I suppose. Um, so, yeah, I would have been devastated if I'd have lost it, like, but I would have said at least I'd give it a go. But um, obviously, that didn't come to that. What would your top tips be for someone just getting started? So, top tips would be um, make sure you've got at least 50 pics and videos on your page because then you can get featured on the main screen on you know when you pay on the page. Yeah on the home page sorry. Um yeah so that's one thing. And then just like tweeting us, like tagging me, tagging admire me uh, on Twitter, which Twitter's your best bet because obviously Instagram and stuff are not are dead against sex workers. Um so yeah I would say just promote, promote, promote like constantly, make sure your stuff's different. Kind of already said some of this stuff, but yeah, that's it really. Just promote, promote, promote. What are your main costs for a business that's centered on online content? I'll let you take this one. <laughs> so, so many costs that we had no idea about. You yeah. thought it was just going to run itself, didn't you, hon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we give you that idea. When I, when I put the word, I was like, do you want to help me do this thing? It won't, it won't be fine. And we just yeah. thought, we'll make, a web, we'll make a website. And she worked full time and yeah, handed fine. a notice in like two weeks later. Yeah, <laughs> so it ended. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the costs, we had no idea about some of the costs that we were going to incur. You even, we have to pay to hold all the videos up in the cloud. And we have to pay to get the videos up into the cloud along with major major costs it costs far more than anybody could ever imagine on a monthly basis to run this business we are just taking 20 percent of your money and buying the lamborghini we we are investing heavily back into the business and just keeping it running keeping it to trying to be the best site out there and trying to give the best service that we can to everybody who, who uses it we're talking tens of thousands of pounds per month aren't we yeah high tens of thousands yeah of pounds per so month. people just see the the grits and the gram and me driving a lambo and think that we're taking you 20 percent and spending it because we really aren't like the only reason i've got a lambo none of no one cares but like the only reason i've got it is because of selling me old nudes as a model on there is the reason i've got that not because of the business the business money just goes back into the business really and obviously we have all the costs, the staff, um, premises, like loads of outgoing. So if you had 50 or 100,000 pounds, what would you invest in as a startup business besides in Miami? Well, I do offer a few hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> um, so give me some ideas. Give me some ideas. Like I'm, I'm open to some ideas. I'm not investing in other people's companies also don't even ask. I'm sick of hearing about it. <laughs> I get messages every single day for money. Like stop, please stop. <laughs> What equipment or laptop would you recommend that somebody starting out on Admire Me? I'd say use your mobile because that's what you're going to be going on really. All these days, your phones are good enough for the. You don't need like picture pair. You don't need like studio type pictures. That's not what people pay for. They like that it's amateur. They like that you've took it on a morning when you're in bed with your phone. That makes it feel more like real and sexy as if you've sent it to them. Um, it's convenient. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. You, you don't want to be um, wasting your money on like expensive equipment when you can just do it all on your phone. You've got where you've got by only yeah, using your phone. Yeah, I only ever did it on like Snapchat and stuff like that years ago. Like, if you look back at some of my old videos, like they were filmed on a Nokia 3210. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, your phone is fine. Obviously if you want to get laptops and stuff, but I have got a brand new laptop in the house that I've never used, so I wouldn't waste your money. Do you feel like in Miami has any competition or any fear of something similar arising? There are other sites out there that have been around a lot longer than ours, but I'm not interested in what other people are doing, to be honest. I'm interested in us, us being the best that we can be. We don't need to compete with others because we're doing just fine on our own and that's it really, isn't it? Yeah. We don't really care about what anyone else is doing. We do our thing, you do yours and good luck to you. Like, I'm not bitter about anybody making their own. They just stay in their lane, I'll stay in mine. There's enough place in this market for all of us. Just be unique. Yeah, don't, don't copy off other people. Don't rip off our terms and conditions. <laughs> that we wrote ourselves Thanks. someone copied and pasted <laughs> but anyway that's by the by <laughs> no one cares yeah. nobody likes a copycat no just try and be original do your own thing don't have a similar name or 
don't copy, like just do your own thing and stay in your own lane, that's the best. We were the only VIP, that was our... We were dot VIP, we were yeah. the first ones and now there's about fucking seven. Yeah, we, we sat and debated and came up with our name, totally individual to anything else out there and now so many people have like took a little bit of ours, a little bit of somebody else's. It's, it's like the sincerest unique? form of flattery, is that the word? Yeah. But, no. Apparently. No. Well. Any chance of a few pounds before I go to Amsterdam? Not business related, hon. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Please stop asking me for money. You're not getting money. Fuck okay. off. <laughs> I'm 39. I'm too old to start. Absolutely not. Um, there's literally, there's so many, like people just think, oh, I'm not young with fake boobs and I can't do it. I'm like the perfect thing. Yeah, like there's so many, like men like everything, so many different things. Like the people who prefer bigger girls, people who prefer little girls, even when I was a stripper as well, like the one with the big fake tits didn't always make money. Well, they did. But like <laughs> the ones with little boobs would make money as well. Like it was just, just different. Like you don't have to be skinny, you don't have to have fake boobs, you don't have to be what uh, society tells you is conventionally beautiful. You can just be a girl next door with stretch marks. You can be anyone you want to be and still make money because there is some there's something, someone out there for everyone. Everyone yeah. likes different Everyone things, likes something different, yeah. So just give it a go. As long as you put 100% in, you will get something back out of it. How can you be so sexy? Mm, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out the gym, gym, gym wear, hair like this with no extensions in. I'm just naturally stunning. <laughs> Is it easy to start a business? I don't know why I act like I did all that. <laughs> it was so stressful for me. I slept like a baby every night. <laughs> it's it, what I'm here for, isn't it? It has been the most stressful time but amazing, ever. But it was amazing. The most amazing time ever. It's been ridiculous. Dealing with challenge after challenge after challenge, but overcoming them and the satisfaction of moving on to the next challenge. And um, what's the word when we've been like Trek badly, like from Just discrimination. discrimination. The discrimination that we've had to overcome is unreal in every single aspect. We can't have a bank, set banks won't touch us, credit card companies won't touch us, we can't have premises, accountants won't let us use their services, all because we're a sex industry. However, the sex industry is legal, we're paying our taxes, the taxman's happy to take his big chunk, the Batman takes his chunk, but we're legally allowed to be discriminated against absolutely nothing wrong with the sex industry and this it forever it's been the oldest industry in town but it's a huge industry nowadays there's nothing dirty about it it's not dirty old men on our site I'm sure there's a few but it's normal people normal women on the site normal men on the site young lads on the site you have footballers following you yeah everything like celebrities have been on there and everything but we just get it's always like oh dirty old pairs but mm. it's just not like that anymore like it's everybody's Everybody's on there now, so they need to just wake up and realise that the world has changed now and it's changing people's lives so they don't have to... One note at a time. Yeah, it changes <laughs> lives one note at a time. They don't have to go to food banks so they can afford to feed their kids and that's it's an amazing thing. And we've had people who message us saying, you don't know what you've done for me, like making this site has changed my life and that makes us so happy that we can help people like that because the government's fucked it for everyone. So. We we out here saving lives, <laughs> saving lives. So to answer the question, it's really hard, really hard, Great but time. really satisfying. Yeah, and that's why we say good luck to each and every one who wants to give it a go because mm. you're gonna need it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've tried signing up twice. I've sent off my passport proof, but I hear nothing back. There's various yeah. reasons. It might, yeah. it might be blurry. It might not be in the square correctly. You might be trying to. Uh, send us a fake, we're not stupid, we manually check every single one that comes in. Check your spam, that's yeah. where you email them. Junk, junk mail. Every single day, the normally always approve within 24 hours and you will get a response one way or another. Yeah, so just check your junk. Is it private? Do you have to post videos and what sort of pics do you post? Uh, you just have to post whatever you're comfortable with really, but obviously the more the more diverse your um, pictures and videos are, the better it will be. Um, but you can be anonymous, I've said this before in my other video, but it's just a lot harder, more work for you and and don't think that it's just a anonymous, easy money, like just put some nudes on there, people will buy them, it really isn't as easy as that. You need to put effort in and so many people slag sex work and stuff, but they want to do it on the sly. They want to do it yeah, anonymously. But can lads set up and admire me? Yes they can. Um we haven't got a big massive um male 
What's the word? Category. Yeah, yeah. following. Uh, Bevan got a lot of males on there, and they tend to not do as well as women. But if you put the effort in, you will you will get them. But it's I think people just give up after a couple of weeks and think, well, I'm not getting any subscribers and it's hard for me to help men i can help women because my following is men predominantly so when i'm retweeting women obviously i've got the customers there for them but i can't really retweet men because i don't know men on my timeline want to see like cocks and stuff like that do you know what i mean so yeah that's the only issue really we have created an admire me men's twitter page so we can promote but yeah, yeah you're right you can really retweet not really it's then people start follow, unfollow, they they follow unfollow me and stuff like that and i'm not like losing my followers to do it so and you should probably be aware if you think as a man thinking about setting up of who your target audience is it's not women women don't want to pay to see your cock sorry <laughs> mate sorry if you're so to it's, for, it's for gay it's yeah. for gays basically so um just bear that in mind when you make your profile. You don't have to be gay. There's plenty of straight men who do it and have a gay follower, but that is your target audience and that is what you need to be thinking about. Yeah, so not, if you've got a problem with that, I wouldn't even... If you're just a man who likes to send dick pics, don't bother. No, it's not about that no. at all. Have you thought about an Admire Me app? Obviously we've thought about it, but we can't do it because um, Apple don't allow anything to do with sex on the, on the app store. So obviously because children go on there and stuff like that. So... We would love to, but we can't. We've made the site as mobile friendly as we can, so... It's can for mobiles, really, isn't Yeah, it? and you can link, um, get a button on your homepage. We've got instructions somewhere. We'll add them at the bottom of the video. <laughs> How to add us to your homepage on your phone. Yeah. How long did the setup of the website take? A lot longer than we expected, didn't it? Yeah. Well, we went over, and I was fuming, because obviously I'd told everyone that we were going live at whatever date. And then it took like, I'd say like a month or something after that, didn't yeah. it? And I still pushed them to get it done. And then and then we ended up going live before it was 1 million percent ready. <laughs> but I'm just, I want everything done yesterday, mate. But it took about six months, didn't it? Well, April we first Seven. met with them. I think April, April we first met with them in yeah. six months, yeah. Mm. So obviously it was a bigger job than we originally thought. Um, so it was probably, probably a bigger job than they originally yeah, thought. Yeah, they, they undercoated us and they buy quite a lot. Yeah. Um, so we ended up paying a lot more. I think the original quote was like 30 grand or something. Mm -hmm. And that ended up being like 45. And then the immense growth we went through, we've had to invest heavily oh, in. Look, we put loads more money back yeah. into it into we like making everything better. And Did you have to take out a lot from the bank? I think I've already discussed this, but no, I spent my own money that I already had from other ventures and just, just took a risk basically. Um, it paid off? Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get a bank loan probably, <laughs> not for that amount. Does it may me show up on your bank statement? Do you want to answer this one? Yeah. So for the models, the VIPs on the site, when you receive your payment, it says client AC. It does not say it may me on your bank. For subscribers, it does say it may me, and that's a requirement of our card provider. Yes, it would be nice to offer discreet billing, but two months down the line, if it said something random, you'd be thinking, don't know what the hell that is, ring your credit card company and go, I didn't make that payment. So yes, it does say it may me on your bank if you're subscribing. Be aware. I've got a follower who's been a bit of a dickhead. What can I do? You answer that one. <laughs> so if somebody's paid to subscribe to you, they are kind of entitled, but they're not entitled to talk to you like shit. We've got terms and conditions, we've got rules and regulations that can't ask you to meet up for sex, they can't demand stuff that you're not willing to share. Um, you've got a couple of options, you can mute them, then they can't comment on your posts, they can't inbox you, but they still have access to your content, so they're not entitled to a refund. You can block them when they don't have any access and they can't follow you. Um, it depends whether they've broke the terms and conditions or whether they're just annoying you. If they've brought the terms, and we will investigate every report, if they've brought the terms, then they would not be entitled to a refund. If you've just found someone from your local area has followed you and you're blocking them or someone you know, and they haven't done anything wrong, they would be entitled to a refund. But you don't have to talk to anybody you don't want to. So just be aware when you start blocking people willy-nilly that it'll come up your wages if you... Yeah, if they haven't done anything wrong. If they haven't done anything them. wrong, it'll, it'll, we've got to give them their money back so it'll come up your wages. So don't just block people for the sake of it. If you mute them, mute them. Like if you just yeah, somebody, so if they're annoying you. Just yeah, mute them, they're just yeah. annoying. Mute them if they're not being harmful in any way to you. Or anything like threats or like uh, blackmail things like that. Just let us know. We part there's a report button. You can report individuals. You can report comments on posts. Subscribers can report posts. 
and we read every single report and we deal with it and we will look into it. We don't take no shit basically. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Um, this might be a really long video actually. <laughs> um, so any other questions and stuff like don't hesitate to comment and we'll get back to you. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, give us your thoughts and um, thanks for coming. <laughs>